Uh, Shalom, all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Barashim, Yahushai, Barashim, Karkadash. Uh, double honors to the other apostle, Great Millstone. The citation you are, I can teach all truth and sincerity. Uh, <clears throat> this is going to be the scripture of the day. Um, it's going to be uh, from Psalms chapter 50. I'm going to read verse, verse 15. Um, it says, and and call upon me in the day of trouble, and I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. Oh, excuse me. Um, so I'm reading over here. This Psalms 50 verse 15 says, "Call and call upon me in the day of trouble." And we're gonna uh, call upon you. How about you shine in the day of? Uh, trouble which is uh the day of jacob's trouble when all hell breaks loose when chaos when um uh mayhem is out in the streets when people are um, dropping dead like flies when um you know it's a martial law and, and and all these things going on out here in these you know this wicked kingdom which is babylon which is america you know, we're going to call upon our power, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, in the day. And, you know, Lord willing, Yahweh Ratazah, if we're, uh, you know, a part of that number and, and we're considered his men, he's going to answer us, you know. He's going to um, hear, our, hear our prayer, hear our cry, and he's going to deliver us and, and guide us in, in these times. Because... Um, I'm going to get, uh, you know, I'll get uh, Psalms 91 first, and then I'll get that. I'll get Psalm 91, and uh, this is uh, Psalms 91, verse 1. It says, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of Almighty. And... <clears throat> In the secret place of the Most High is these scriptures. So if we, you know, make Yahweh Bashin Yahshai our refuge. Um, we, we take in this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and we, um, you know, you, you know, take it in and and um, use it. You know, you know, to guide us. You know, in that day when it, when the time comes when it gets really bad out here. You know, the Most High will have our back. You know, um, it says, uh, it says, I will say of Yahweh, he is my refuge and my fortress. My power in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, and from noise and pestilence. And from the snare of the fowler, he shall deliver us from, um, you know, martial law, from um, the missiles to come. From pestilence, from from famine, you know, he, he shall um, guide us through all that. Even when people are dropping dead, you know, uh, it talks about that even further. Now I'm gonna continue reading. This is um, he shall cover thee with his feather, and on his wing shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. And um, like it says in um the. I believe the Gospels in the New Testament says, put on the whole armor of the Most High. It, it keeps from the wild of the devil. Um, we put on this whole armor, this uh, this word, and take in this book uh, that is written for us to um, learn and, 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 and um, learn and uh, teach the truth. Um, and we have faith and trust that all all is written in here is the truth and nothing but the truth you know the most high will uh you know guide us help us and keep us you know also and we also have to endure until the end um so if we endure to the very end and through all the trials and tribulations you know we shall be saved uh but <clears throat> this you know and also, as you read a little further, it says, The Most High shall give his angels charge over thee 
to keep us uh basically the guardian angels to keep his charge over us. But um this is uh verse five. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrows that fly it by day, uh, nor the pestilence that walketh in darkness. So we're not going to be afraid, afraid of any uh, missiles, any uh, any anything that these heathens imagine against us. Because if, we, if we're, uh, if Yahweh Bashan Yahshua is with us, who can be against us? Um it says, nor the pestilence that walketh in darkness, to nor nor the uh the plagues that are coming to pass, you know, in this year of prophecy, we're not gonna be afraid of those. But <clears throat> we're gonna be cautious, but you know, you how about Shai? If if we're if he got us, we'll be all right, you know. Um nor for the destruction that walketh that wasteth in noonday. It says, a thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. So we're not gonna be we're not gonna be um what's the word? Uh afraid to see, you know, dead bodies. Um one at one side on your right side and your left, because there's gonna be a lot of death. We're gonna see a lot of death come. Uh, come down upon these people and we're not going to have time to you know stop and mourn for for the dead that are are you know that died you know like like it said in matthew uh, uh i believe you how i told uh a particular individual let the dead bury the dead you know let the spiritually dead bury the dead we're not going to have that time to mourn for for those that pass away you know, you know, in that time to come, when when all hell breaks loose, there's gonna be a lot of dead bodies. The blood is gonna be up to the horse's bridle, so we're not gonna have that time no more. Um, it says, I uh, read verse seven. It says, "A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee." So we're not gonna experience death, you know, famine, pestilence, all that's gonna not affect us you know if we're uh part of that number to uh be exempt from the judgment to come uh it says verse eight only with thy eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked so we're gonna receive we're gonna see the reward of the wicked two-thirds and the heathens that you know came against Yahweh and Yahshai and follow after their own wicked lust and then um repent or consider um their ways of what they were doing, the consequences. You know, um, it says, verse 9, because thou hast made Yahweh, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. So, you know, <clears throat> so go back to the um, precept, it says, uh, when you call, we're going to call up in that day, and um, the Most High shall deliver thee. Salaki, let me get it. Let me read. Um, this is Psalms 15 and 15. It says, And call upon me in that day of trouble, and I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. And the Most High, he's going to... Um, He's going to, uh, you know, when we cry upon, cry to Yahweh Bashan Yahshai in that day, he's going to deliver and, and keep his servants that um, from experiencing these these uh, these different things that are going to happen to the uh, two thirds of Israel. Like it says in Jeremiah thirty, verse seven, in the day of Jacob's trouble. He shall be saved out of it. He shall be delivered. That he is the elect. So if we are part of the, that number, Lord willing, we'll be exempt from being plagued, from having the plague, from being in famine, from um, from experiencing all the things that's going to go down. You know, 
If we if we um endure to the end, we shall be saved. Uh, I'm gonna read um I'm gonna read uh Psalms 91 and verse 10. It says, There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come now thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in thy hands, lest thy thou dash thy foot against the stone. So, and the most high is gonna give his angels, our, our guardian angels, charge over us to guide us in the days of trouble. And, and Yahweh Shin Yahshai in the day of family, he's going to Lord willing um preserve us, you know, during that time and keep us, you know. Uh, I'm gonna go to um, Isaiah 33, verse 6. It says, um, it's Isaiah 33, verse 6, it says, Wisdom and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability in thy times, and strength and salvation, the fear of Yahweh is his treasure. And this wisdom, knowledge, and, and faith is going to keep us in that time, it's going to keep us our minds stable when, when all these people are bugging out, when uh, all this stuff goes down when the total society has shut down and there's there's no work and there's no food and the water's tainted and everything is shut down. The lights are out. These people are going to totally, um, you know, become, um, it's going to be like, uh, what's the word that, that, uh, that show, um, what's that show? Um, is it uh, so lucky? It's gonna be totally sedition among men, and people are gonna be invading one another. This is um, this is um, I uh, Second Ezra fifteen verse fifteen. It says, "For the sword and their destruction draw nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands, for their." Shall be sedition among men and invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. It says, A man shall desire to go into the city and shall not be able, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. And this all is going to go down when, when Jacob's trouble is enacted because all because this society. It's gonna completely turn into war, war, civil war. People are gonna be killing each other, raping each other, pillaging each other for food, for for toilet paper, for clothes, for everything. Cause cause people like to hoard, and those people that hoard are gonna are gonna be going to be are gonna be pillaged, because they they don't have no faith, and they think that, you know, all that food and all that stuff is going to last. You know when it that's all going to be completely burned up and and and, and uh that's that's all temporal that's not going to last because this place is going to be you know judged with fire and obliterate off the face of the earth and the elect of the nation of israel and the one third of the nation of israel are going to be delivered from this wicked place so i'm going to say all praise and honor and glory to yahweh bashim yashai bashim kakadash the ones to Elder Apostle Great Millstone, Citation, you can teach all truth, sincerity, and shalom.